has any of the team members played in Hong Kong before? Yeah, a couple of the guys. Um, they were fringe players at the time. Um, we are starting again, rebuilding in, in a way from uh, Tokyo Olympics uh, back in uh, 2021. Um, we, we had 13 guys retire, so that's so a big chunk of your squad. Uh, but we've you know we've had guys that have been in and out of the, the competitions, um, and, and a lot of them had their, their first year last year. So uh, no excuses. Um, they're, they're good footy players, and we just need to make sure we find our identity, get our get our game around how we play around our players, uh, play to our strengths. Um, the, the, the good thing about this league and the tough thing about this uh, World Series is that you know there's a lot of quality opposition and uh, if you make mistakes you get you get punished for it so yeah like I said we learned a lot last year about ourselves um, and I think as the season wore on uh, we got tournament after tournament had a bit of consistency with our squads um, we started to see some some identity take shape so that's what we're trying to build on uh, going into this season what kind of team do you have now with the your identity that you're talking about, what does it sort of look like? Well, I can't tell you. That's a, that's a secret. That's a trade secret. No, we've got the young guys, um, lots of energy. Uh, we obviously like to push the ball around and play. Uh, we've got to have a bit more discipline in our game. Uh, we can't be too um, frilly and just be too loose with the offloads. So we're trying to put a bit of discipline, but also take take the opportunities, see what the picture is. A lot of, a lot of decision making last year probably wasn't on point. Um, things we were working on, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll just keep striving, keep trying to develop the guys. How's the team feeling? Um, really good. You know, we haven't, for most teams, for all the teams, it hasn't been a long off season. Uh, hasn't we, we haven't really had a chance to get some strength gains in there. It kind of feels like we've come off the back of last season and the World Cup, kind of straight into this year. But um, really, good. It's, a, it's a good chance for us to keep rolling and keep the momentum on, uh, going from last from last season. Thought we had a pretty decent rugby world cup um but we battled in each game we were pretty close in every every, every match so that's all you can really ask you know give yourself an opportunity to win uh this year yeah we've obviously got our aims and goals and you know this it's tricky this year because there's going to have relegation uh, i think the world series changes format the year after so yeah big big ask from the guys but you know we've got a, a dedicated squad and uh, really looking forward to yeah like i said day one uh tomorrow tough match against argentina Uh, no, uh, can I just... Uh... Hours ago, kind okay. of had... Okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, Kevin, you're going to be on the bench. Oh, yeah, um, you mentioned that your whole team is new. Is there anyone that you can mention by name that uh, we can include? Um, yeah, I mean, we've got, um, you know, I think we've got a bunch of exciting young players, um, you know, uh, be disrespectful to just uh, you know I think they're all great and um, you know I've got a lot of you know I pre appreciate all the what each player brings um, in terms of like the speedsters Brock Webster um, was was a bit of a highlight machine last year um, Josiah Mora um, kickoff specialist uh, I think Phil Burner our captain uh, very very good great all-rounder uh, Jake Teal good great at the kickoffs um, very good at offloads um, yeah I think there's you know it's too many guys to mention. Um, you know, I'm really excited, looking forward to seeing how Deshaun Bowen goes this season. And um, you know, the tough thing about, uh, I suppose, this year is um, we want to get some consistency in our squad um, and play guys, you know, back-to-back -to -back tournaments. To that's the only way you're really going to get cohesion. Um, so I hope, like we've said, and we hope guys take their opportunity and their chance uh, when they get them. Cool. And um, can you tell us a little bit about? We mentioned Hong Kong, but can you mention Hong Kong and then the new uh, season ahead, what your expectations are? Yeah, like, I mean, it's great to be back in Hong Kong. This, this tournament is iconic uh, in terms of especially around sevens. Um, you know, I, I came here myself as a player and uh, I love to come back every season and now coaching these boys, you know, you can see the excitement in their eyes. Um, again, like, you know, driving around the stadium yesterday um, and, and actually training across the road, you, know, you can see the boys' excitement. Um, for, it's the first time for many. Um, so uh, knowing the conditions, though, uh, with the weather the way it is at the moment, it's, it's, it's never um, never boring, that's for sure, this, this place. Um, there's always something. So it's going to be heavy, you know, knowing, knowing the, the weather at, at the moment and obviously the... I suppose with the temperature being as it, as it is at the moment, it's not as humid. Uh, but, but who knows what it's going to be like tomorrow? If the, the clouds lift, uh, it could heat up, and uh, that's always a different uh, different environment. 
um, but I expect it to be a little bit heavy underfoot. Um, obviously uh, slippy, uh, so you know the you know keeping the ball in hand is going to be huge for us. And um, you know, expectations wise, you know we're just going to take one game at a time. It's really that tournament, especially the format with one game on day one and then two on day two. Uh, we really just have to get through tomorrow against you know a quality opposition that we respect, you know, you know massively. Um, but we also you know in, in terms of respect, we've got to you know bring our game. And bring it for the whole 14 minutes and 15, 16 minutes because the way we played, especially after last season, every game went into extra time or you know deep into um, overtime. So uh, the players, you know, we're really you know looking forward to um, getting out there. Um, want to want to play well for themselves and for their you know their friends and family back home. Uh, they love representing Canada, um, and you know I've been you know it's been great for me to you know, have this group for the last uh, month and a half. Uh, really seeing their growth uh, even just in a short time, um, considering what we went through last year. Thanks. And uh, what about the whole season? Any expectations, particularly at this moment? Well, I think you know we don't want to look too far ahead. I think it's about getting this tournament and day one um, out the way, and then seeing where we we lie on day two, and then what we have to what we have to do. I think that I think you get uh, if you if you think too far ahead, um, you know that's when issues arise and. Uh, you know, we, we just want a healthy squad. I just want to make sure we get through day one with, you know, everyone intact. So knock wood. Um, and then, yeah, like we, we've got some exciting young players. David Richards returning. Um, some other guys are returning. Um, we've got a couple of new players in there as well. Cal Sager. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, all, um, it's all excitement right now. And, uh, it's, you know, it's fresh. Um, yeah, we'll, um, you know, we'll see what happens after the day one. Um, and you mentioned Argentina, but could you give me a few lines on Ireland and Kenya? Sure, yeah, no, our pool is a really tricky pool. It's a really tough pool. Um, you know, Ireland did, did great in the Rugby World Cup. They were they were immense and they were really consistent. Um, they, they, we only we really only got to play them once last season. Um, it was a tricky match in Vancouver. Um, so I'm really looking forward to playing them. Um, they bring a lot with their game, real, real consistent uh, and real exciting how they play with some exciting players like Jordan Conroy on the wing. Uh, we have to really mark him up, you know, and, and McNulty in the forwards. So... Uh, plenty of plenty of big name players and big game players for them. Uh, Kenya, big, strong, uh, very athletic. You know, we've got to make sure we, I suppose, keep the ball away from them as much as we can, which is never easy. Uh, great at the breakdown. So really respect all the teams that we're going to play. Um, and if we're going to beat them, we're going to have to be on top of our game and you know be you know you know we really work on how we've been working and training, which has it's gone really you know really good. But the conditions you know tricky. The opposition are hard. So. We can't take anything for granted.